I go to YouTube, I'm Max, and this is part 2 of my 36 pack box Magic Ruler opening. Um, in the first 9 packs we had one super rare and one ultra rare to look at, and this time I hope there's going to be more holographic stuff. So without further ado, let's start right away. 9 packs, the second half of the right side you could say. And the struggle is going to be, can I open many packs without damaging them? There we have a wall shadow. Oh, now I changed my lighting a little, but this is too dark, I would say. There we go, that might be better. Wall shadow. Stone Orgo Grotto. Tailor of the Fickle. Chain Energy. I always wanted to make a deck with cards like this, so the opponent has to play, oh, to do stuff, Invader of the Throne, so right away a super rare, not a particular, uh, particularly good one, but if you can, you can resolve it during your turn, it's, yeah, okay-ish, but, um, yeah, hmm. not a fan of this card, to be honest. Um, this is our first slot machine, I think of the whole box. Um, that's a short print. And he has Guardian of the Thro Throne Room right behind him. So two machines who look a little similar. Labyrinth Wall. I think um, this one was in the first opening. Now there is a lot of those uh, Labyrinth cards. Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra, Luminous Spark, one of the um, better field spells early on, which pushes a certain attribute by 500 attack and reduces death by 400. Manga Ryuran, okay, that big belly button, <laughs> yay. Chorus of Sanctuary, Mechanical Snail. Guardian, Guardian of the Throne Room, and another Labyrinth Wall. Of course, when I open 36 packs, um, there are most likely around 6 Super Rares, 3 Ultra Rares, and maybe 0 to 1 Secret Rares. So I'm going to pull lots of Rares. And as there are only 17 different ones in the set, um, I will pull some of them twice. I would like to get double Cyberjar and uh, the Recruiters would be nice to get two of as well, like Giant Red. That's okay for me. Taihon. And of course, uh, multiple Upstart Goblins would be appreciated as well. Jigen Bakudan. Queen Bird, Whiptail Crow, who is not a winged beast but a fiend, interesting. Performance of Sword, Giant Turtle who feeds on flames, and Horn of the Unicorn, a classic Yugi card. Uh, he uh, comboed that with Feral Imp or with his. How's that big red thingy called? Griffor, I think. The German German version calls it something like, uh, yeah, prou proudness, proud, uh, Stolz des Einhorns. So the the noun for being proud, der Stolz des Einhorns, which is yeah kind of funny, because in English it's just horn of the unicorn. <laughs> Crab turtle. Snake Fang, Peacock, Wall Shadow, and Yozan Ryu again. This is a, not a common, a rare that I 
would have liked to pull just once and not twice, because there are much better ones in here. Spear Critin. Weather Report. Ah, and there's another Upstart Goblin. Nice. Only three packs left now. But of course, there's still the left side of the box to be opened in part three and four. So I still have a lot of fun up up that alley. Do you say that like this? Eh, whatever. <laughs> Magical Labyrinth. Dark Zebra again. Red Archery Girl, who looks like Pegasus's wife, I think. Oh, and there we go. Red Archery Girl and Toon Mermaid. Now, unfortunately, I have some first edition Toon Mermaids, I think. So this will not yeah, upgrade my collection by too much, I think. But it's a nice ultra rare nonetheless. Um, and of course, it's a nice coincidence to pull it right after its original version, you could say. So, I'm not mad. Metal Fish. Horn of Light. Sonic Bird. And Taihon number 2. I think in Legend of Blue Eyes there's the original Taihon, which is like a weird, weird greenish color. Yellow, greenish. Ochre. One of these packs should have another super rare, because so far there were only two. Two ultras and um, two supers. So, ja! Ich komm nachher mal hoch. That was a cameo for my mom. Yay! <laughs> uh, Senju of the Thousand Hands. Nice. That searches ritual monsters. Ceremonial Bell. Darkness Approaches, and Kotodama, with Octobrasa in the last slot of this pack. Now there's one pack left for the right side. Where is the next Super Rare? And what is it going to be, if there's one in here? Black Illusion Ritual would be cool, uh, Confiscation would be cool. Chain Energy again, High Tide Geogen, and Mystic Tomato. So, okay, that's a little weird. Wait, there was Messen Messenger of Peace in the first one. Toon Mermaid, Upstart Goblin. Yeah, just mm. two foils on this side. Uh, two Super Rares and two Ultras. So, um, hmm. Yeah, that's not what I expected. One to two ultras is uh, standard, but per side there should be uh, three supers. Maybe there are more on the other side, or the ultra took a spot of one of the supers, I don't know. But um, opening the remaining packs will give me the answer, if I'm uh, getting the short end of this box, or if there's something positive going on here. As always, thank you for watching, stay tuned for part three and four. And see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye!